Good morning. Welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we've got Genesis 2 2. And on the seventh day God finished his work that he'd done, and he rested on the seventh day for all his work that he had done. Yeah. I don't even know where to go with that. I never feel like my work is done. Don't ever have a calming mind. Yeah. I probably need to take some time to just truly rest. Um, but I don't. Anyway. All right. So today I have a bunch of things that I finished some. You saw me start. Uh -huh. We talked about them. And today I have some of them finished. Uh, the first thing we did is in the crochet department. I've just been sitting. And this is what I call one of my mindless knits. It's a virus shawl. I give them away as prayer shawls. This is the um, yarn that I got at Joann's on sale. And I got two skeins and I'm on this one here. Second one. This probably shows the colors better. I don't know, this lighting is terrible. But it's got light peach, some lighter blue, some dark peach, some gray. Yeah. So, and it's got a little bit of sparkle in it. You know how I like to make them shimmer. So this is one skein and I just started the other skein on the last row that I did. So yeah, it's getting there. I like the way it's turning out. It probably will be one that I give away just because um, so that I've been doing in the evenings after work, um, don't really have enough time to get a whole lot done, um, in the sewing department, you know, by the time I get dishes done and dinner and come in and kick my shoes off. So that's what this is. So, and the yarn, I saved the ball band, it's Lion's Brand. Mandela. I don't know how to say that. So, anyway, yeah, been working on that. Then this weekend, um, you know, last week I went to like Joann's and got some stuff on sale. I think it's June nineteenth or so. So for the last two weeks, I've been working on some things. Um, first up is this. You saw this is a long vest okay i got it all hemmed it is good to go came out really nice i like it so there's that one and it is complete and i got this one and i have the pants i have this black pair of pants that i made too um my other black pants are getting pretty raggedy. I've worn the same clothes for two years at work. I have like five outfits just rotate between them. So I'm in a new pair of black pants that I made this jacket. Now the jacket, I have not done the sleeves because I don't like the way they're fitting. They're very open at the bottom. I need to take them in so that they're tailored to me. Um, one thing that I did do was I added a seam right here to take it in because it didn't fit me quite as well as I wanted and so I just I already had the collar on took the collar back off took the and took it up in the bag and that brought these the shoulders on me were hanging way down so that drew it back up um, and made it square up with my shoulders if that then I made this pair of pants, which is done. Um, I even have them hemmed. Good to go. Uh, this will be a good one for in the winter, but my desk is cold. So, yeah, I never dress for the weather. I always dress for whatever I feel like. <laughs> so, and then I needed a black top um, to go under that uh, thing. So, I just did this. It's already done and is what it is. And it actually lays better on me than it does her. 
whereas everything else lays better on her than it does me. Um, I don't know why. I just don't. But the thing that I'm looking at is I've got this jacket and that pair and the pair of pants like this with this black top is one outfit. Then I can do the other vest with the other black pair of pants as two brand new outfits. And then, of course, I can wear just the pants, no jacket, that kind of stuff kind of mix it up. So, yeah. I worked on all of that this weekend. Um, I had some of it started. I didn't have any of the pants started. I did both sets of pants and this shirt um, this weekend. The jacket, I just worked on to make it fit better because I wasn't happy with it. And the vest, I just hemmed it. Um, I had most of the other stuff done. <coughs> yep. Then I whipped up this little thing. This is um, this is the base to my sewing machine when I turn it into a uh, embroidery machine. And I don't like that the dust was getting in there. Um, and so this is two back quarters that I got in my sew what box. Um, and this is reversible. I can do it as little anchors. Or I can do it as dolphins and literally it just goes over like this so anytime you're making a cover I'll give you just a little quick tip um, I just took two fat quarters they were all square then I sewed two chambers and just put elastic in them if you're making a cover it doesn't really matter about the corners People aren't really going to see that. I do use the corners as the guides to um, cover this because it's kind of square. But yeah, I just use elastic and uh, a square the size that I need. It's a dust cover. It's not, you know, something great, but it's going to stay in place first off. And the other ones that I've made. I made fancy ones for my other sewing machines. And when I say fancy, like squared them and did all this stuff, I didn't put any elastic in the bottom. They just sat on top. And the problem is, is that they could pop off. They, they're just loose. So unless it's sitting there when it's traveling, it doesn't stay on. This is going to stay on no matter how I pick it up. So yeah, I, I like making this kind better. But anyway, and that sits over there. I just wanted something to keep the dust out of it. And it was quick and easy, literally took me five minutes. So yeah, other than that, this weekend I did all the laundry, cleaning up. Today is Monday and I have, uh, this week is 4th of July for the American people. We know that that's our independence day. Um, so I've got Thursday off for the 4th of July and then I took the 5th off for that Friday because his roommate's birthday is on 4th of July. I don't know what we're going to do, but we just decided we're going to take some time and not work. Um, and then I also took the 8th, which as it turns out, the refrigerator may be coming. Yeah, we still don't have the refrigerator here. <laughs> Got the stove in. This last weekend, we were supposed to get the um, refrigerator. They called and said, no, nope, not this week. roommates really mad but I can understand it when you go out you buy something you're looking on the showroom floor you say okay I want this one they should have one at least one or they should say floor model for sale if they don't have them, you know so anyway there's that watched RJ rope a couple of times on cowboy channel I have now um, kept that subscription I keep it uh, I say I don't keep it I got it back. So I signed up for it the first time that he said he was going to be on TV. And then after that, I keep it through the summer. And then in the winter when he's not roping on it, there's really not anything that is a show that I die hard. Got to have the Cowboy Channel. So I discontinue it. And then I sign up again when he's going to be on there. So pretty much I have it six months out of the year. And then the other ones I don't. So, 
And the truth is, is rodeo tickets, if I was going to go see him rope, they can run anywhere from 10 to 15 to, I've seen them as high as $23. So $10 a month, six months, that's all I pay, which is cheaper than actually going to see him rope. <laughs> and I can do it from the comfort of my own home. So anyway, uh, no more progress on the kitchen has been made until we get the fridge in there because we're, once we pull the fridge out, um, we have to disconnect the water because it does have an ice maker in it and we're going back to one with an ice maker in it. So yeah, um, that one outlet behind the fridge is all we have left to do. And then I have to put up the backer stuff and I think that's it. And then of course attach the water and plug it in and do, you know, so we just have that one receptacle, do the back splash thing. It's all going to match the stove because it's one open area. Um, but yeah. And, oh, and we have one little thing of trim to take down because it's, the fridge would be too tall if we leave it there. So we'll be taking that down. But other than that, that's it. Uh, did a lot of laundry this weekend, stripped all the beds, that kind of stuff. Um, I do that every weekend though. So did all the dishes. Um, I think roommate is contemplating getting a dishwasher too. That would be awesome. This is not my house and it's not my say. Um, uh, I wouldn't buy a dishwasher for the house because again, not my house, but it is roommate's mom's house. So yeah. And I think all the hookups are there for a dishwasher. So That'd be nice. I wouldn't have two dishes so much. Oh my gosh. Anyway, other than that, I've got three days of work and I can get through it. it it's ugh. anyway. Yeah. Work is work. It's not playtime. So, <laughs> but I just have today, Monday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I get five off. So I'm happy with that. Other than that, I think that's, about it. I got to see RJ for a few minutes. Um, I ran to Sam's and got him some Powerade last week. Uh, well, I say last, yeah, last Monday, exactly a week ago. Um, I got the big flats of them for, you know, 24 bottles for less than $15. Uh, picked him up two or three cause he's out in this heat. Um, Got him that, got him some crackers. Uh, he doesn't eat very well in the summer. And so he loses a lot of weight. His pants will barely fit him. By winter, he'll get a good amount of weight on him and he'll look healthy. And then summer comes again. So yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> now, yeah, not so much. <laughs> the weight comes on, it never goes away. No. Uh, so anyway, not a whole lot going on. He's roping. Uh, I'm so winning crochet and, uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to tell you what I do with these arms. Uh, like I said, they're just too wide around my wrist. Um, but my arms are funny cause they're pretty big up here and not so much down here. I mean, my wrists are, so yeah, we'll see. I'll figure something out. Don't know when, but I'll figure something out. And then, this next week on all my time off, I hope to get some things cleaned out and get my room back to the way it should be. So <laughs> I have all these projects out and I literally have just a strip of the bed visible for me to lay in. Yeah, that doesn't work. So I've just, cause every time I go to working on a project, I have to dig for something, elastic, um, my patterns, uh, a certain material or so, yeah, I'm going to try and get, I want to try and get some crates so that I can put the material all up in there and then just have the totes sit on the bottom of the shelf. Don't know how well that's going to work, but I'll figure it out. So all I can say, I'm going to clean some stuff out and I got to clean my bathroom out too. Um, I've just been kind of shoving stuff in there and I need to clean it up and 
<sighs> so anyway, all right, I'm off of here. Um, sorry, it's not much of an update, but I did get a lot accomplished. I will see y'all next week and you guys have a great safe 4th of July. God bless and thanks for watching.